2 green. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Hi, teacher. And a dog, too. <laughs> Yes, true, true, true. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Good? Yes. Everything good? Great. Welcome to classes. All right, we are on the class number 16. Oof. Almost finished. Almost, almost. What did you do today? How was your day? Not much. Working, working. Working in the morning, working in the afternoon, and the rest here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> working all day. Exactly. That's what happens. Yes, we are just working most of the days. True, 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 true. Well, today is 15th, it's February 15th. We are, yes, exactly right here. Okay. Let's see, yes, it's a good number. We can have the attendance to start with. It's almost ready. Okay. Brenda, not here, not yet, not yet, it's true, Daniel, have a night, present, hello, good evening, hello, Daniel Alejandro, not yet, not yet, Daniela, present, hello, good evening, Daisy Tatiana. I'm here. Hello, good evening. Dolores de Los Angeles. Present. Hello, welcome. Juliana. Good evening, good evening. Kaylin. Hi, present. Hello, good evening. Hello. The, the Jonas Jonas <laughs> Nayet Jorge Nayet Julius Present teacher Hello, good evening Karen Present Good evening Kevin Not anymore Lady Lady, not here yet. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. I'm present. Thank you, thank you. All right, this is the number of participants we have for today. All right. Well, let me. Oh, Daniel Alejandro, welcome, by the way. Uh, No microphone. No working. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, he has difficulties with his mic. All right. Awesome. 
Did you have dinner? Not yet. <laughs> that, yes, I did. Already, already finished. Okay, great. Did you drink coffee? <laughs> to resist? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I do. All right. Nice. Well, I had dinner, but very early, like 5.30, I think. I was coming home, so I decided to have dinner before coming home. <laughs> and then I was a little bit late because the place was a little bit full later. And the traffic, you know, the usual. The traffic is always present in the city. All right. Well... Let's see. Okay, we're ready. Let's just start over this topic tonight. Okay. This is the session number 16. Oh, yes. Sí, On yeah. February 15th. Um, huh. The reminders for the class, as usual, and the class objectives. Of course, we start the session four or the unit four. And this is the last unit. <laughs> okay, do you remember unit one, unit two, and unit three? So the unit three that we just finished was mainly about ongoing activities and actions at the workplace. So we were mainly using the present continuous, right? And so we are about to start a new unit and this is the main objective, to describe activities and events at the workplace in face-to-face -face and telephone conversation with others in work situations. So, this is what we base, I mean, yeah, what we're basically going to do on this unit, of course. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, just give me one second. I don't know why I didn't omit this, but give me just a minute. Let me just edit this part. It's just part of it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Here we go once again. One more time. Okay, this is what we're going to be discussing, especially on this lesson. How often do you ask for tech support? And what do you call when you need tech support? Okay. First of all, what is tech support? What do we call tech support? What is the necessity of we have when we kind of uh, ignore or we don't know, we don't have the knowledge how to fix something related to technology, right? For example, with computers, with printers, with machines, right? We need somebody, a technician, an expert to help fix things related to technology. Sometimes it's not that it's a big problem, but we don't have the knowledge, right? Oh, we need to investigate, we need to watch videos, we need to research, but we ask first, because we need the solution immediately and we don't have that a skill of fixing something related to technology. All right, so this is something we're going to be discussing related to work. Okay, how often do you ask for tech support? 
And who do you call when you need tech support? At work, okay? So these are some of the questions we're going to be discussing. Think about. Okay, I usually need tech support with this and this and this. And I usually call a technician or a colleague or an expert in the area to help me with the tech support. Okay, si tuvieran que dar una answer a estas two questions, traten de formular la answer, okay? For example, in my job, I usually need tech support because I don't consider myself good with technology. Sometimes I'm terrible. And I usually call my partners because I have um, two computer engineers in my working area. So when I need to know something, I call them. I mean, I don't really need to call to make a phone call, but I text them, especially when we were online classes. I text them and I usually send a screenshots so they could help me. And when they see the sometimes the problem for them is very little, just with a click or with something, it can be fixed. But I usually call them. I usually tell them. I usually ask for help when I'm struggling with technology, okay? Especially um, with computers, yeah. Sometimes it's not even a, a, a technical problem. It's sometimes that I don't know what to do, okay? So this is what we're going to be uh, describing and discussing, okay? So, traten de responder estas questions in the chat. Try to answer and I'm going to give you one minute to answer these questions, okay? If you have any question, you may ask. Just tell me, let me know. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have an answer already. Daniel says, I seldom ask tech support because stability of internet is poor. And I call the IT department for tech support so they can, they are the expert in the topic. Mm. Oh, wow, that's nice. Awesome. Um, that's good. All right, someone else.
Okay, Tatiana already answered as well. Says, how can the U.S. for tech support? Well, every time I have difficulties with the system. It's <laughs> <Just> very honest. <laughs> what do you call when you need tech support? At my job, we have an IT department. So, perfect. They always help. <laughs> okay, nice. All right, Karen. Says, I usually call support when the system crashes or when my printer is failing to give the receipt, okay? I almost always call Nestor or Jonathan who are in charge of the technical support. Oh, that's great. And sometimes <laughs> they are just the technician they fix and, and you are like, how do you do that? Sometimes like, I don't understand. And the next time you have to call again and again, so, I sometimes tell my colleagues, you know, stop. I need to see what you are doing because next time that I have a similar situation, I can solve it. So hopefully they are patient enough to teach how to fix the problem. I usually call my partner because he is an engineer in computers. Okay, yes, exactly what I do. <laughs> okay, great. Mm -hmm. We have only four, five participations. Okay, so we are waiting at least for one more. Who is participating with this topic, please? Send the message. Okay, Julio. <laughs> Thank you. It says I readily ask for tech support. When I need tech support, I call the computing area. That's great. All right. Nice. So the topic okay, we are using today is talking about tech support, right? Okay. So what is the concept of tech support? So in pairs, you're going to be discussing what is the area of tech support you have in the company or the IT department. Okay, Juliana says, how often? Okay, I usually don't need it. And when I need it, they don't come to help me, okay? Oh my God, you are not very, very lucky. Yes, and of course, we usually relate tech support with computers, but what if we have um, issues with the internet, problems with the internet, or with the cell phones, right, or with telephones, or with printers, or with any other machine that requires the technical support or the experts, right, of tech support. All right. We're going to be discussing. This is just a speaking, okay? No tienen que escribir ni mandar nada, but you have to discuss, okay? You have to give ideas. What is the concept of tech support? ¿En qué consiste tech support? Okay? So that is just a brief conversation you have with your partners. Give your own ideas and say what you think, what you consider is tech support, okay? Give examples as well, like tech support is when you have um, problems with the printer, the printer is stuck, or when the machine is not printing the red zips, or when the, um, there's no internet connection in my office, or whatever you want to say. Give examples, okay, of what you think is tech support, and what, why is it so important to have tech support, all right? Are you ready to discuss, to talk only? Yes. Awesome.
Come on. <laughs> Vamos a decir que hace, que hace un... Because between tech support and technical support, if it's very different. ¿Y qué es tech support? Porque tech para support mí es soporte support. técnico. Porque por eso... Bueno, no sé. ¿Qué es? Um, teacher, what do you think about between technical support and tech support? It's different, no? All right, I think it's related, but it can, it can vary. It can have a little difference, right? When you need technical, it can, it can be in any area. You need a technician in that area, right? Not necessarily related to technology, but it's when it's tech and related to technology, yes, it's mainly with computers, with technology. Good. Mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. All right. And Tatiana, what do you think about? Translate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, teacher, translate. <laughs> so, for me, for me, it's support technical. What are you asking about? Support technical. And good. Um, what is the definition do you have? Uh, eso, la asistencia técnica o apoyo técnico que se brinda a las compañías para darle mantenimiento a sus productos. Good. Well, I think o sus equipos para dar mantenimiento a sus equipos. Good. The equipment of the old system in data center or are now for telephonic companies, right? Yeah, it's my definition. Bueno, ya cambiando lo que da técnico. Voy a ver This cómo is lo correct. Uh -huh. Sí. Uh, yeah. Bueno, lo defino como uh, technic, uh, technical, or technical support. Is, support. Bueno, el concepto, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Is an assistant provided by an entity 
especializada, no sé cómo se dice, ahorita verifico cómo se pronuncia, especializada en... Julio. Ajá, dímelo, dímelo. Hola, George. Eh, ah, no, no, eh, ¿cuál era la definición que, que hicimos al final? Al final, eh, es que la... Ajá, es que estaba perdón, tratando perdón. de recordar, pero al final dicen a mí. No, no, es que lo que sucede eh, es que Ruk comentó algo eh, de la parte técnica. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, el... Soporte técnico sí tiene mucho que ver con eso. De hecho, es un soporte que te proporciona, se lo veo así, una persona con especialidad o con capacidades técnicas en un área específica, es lo que decíamos. Ah, bueno, eso Pero, reduciéndolo, reduciéndolo un poquito más a algo más específico de una persona a otra. Correcto. Porque correcto, nosotros eso. estamos hablando de una entidad, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, yo lo mencionaba como entidad porque el hecho es que te pueden dar soporte, es, ese es prácticamente un servicio, un servicio que te proporciona, porque eh, es básicamente explicarte sobre el funcionamiento o, a, o en sí asistirte. En el caso de las computadoras, por ejemplo, cuando una computadora tiene virus, llamas al informático de, 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 de tu área y este llega con un antivirus o actualiza el antivirus actual, y ese es el soporte que te está brindando. Te decía, en el caso mío, este, si tenemos dudas sobre la ley, llamamos al Ministerio de Hacienda y hay una persona ahí con capacidad técnica sobre el conocimiento de la ley que nos dice, no, la forma de interpretar, eh, el legislador lo quiso interpretar de esta forma y lo correcto sería así. Entonces, te, te comentan cómo es que se quiso interpretar la ley. Entonces, eh, qué sé yo. Alguien en, experto en seguros te va a decir eh, si quieres asegurar tu vehículo, te va a dar un soporte técnico a la hora que te explica cómo funciona lo de los seguros en tu vehículo, dependiendo de las características de tu vehículo, qué es lo que te pueden dar. Entonces, te, en todo eso es un servicio que te están dando y es básicamente asesorarte, darte a conocer uh, cómo es que realmente funciona algo. Por ahí creo que va la cosa. Ahondando en el tema. ¿Ah? Ahondando en el tema. Ajá. Me quiero ver. Y Ruth, se quedó callada. Um, in my company, <risa> eh, we, we, pro... mira, aquí, aquí, mira aquí, la, aquí te equivocaste, hay que corregir esto. O sea, el soporte técnico no necesariamente está enfocado en, en que se me arruinó el, el teléfono, necesito llamar para que me lo arreglen. Sino que no me funciona el internet, no me funciona el cable. En mi caso, sí. La computadora no me enciende. No me, car no me carga el... Ajá. Ajá, yo le puse bueno, objetivos, pero en realidad eh, quiere que le diga lo que hace lo de mis, los que están en mi área o la definición de, de quién la definición de soporte técnico en, en función a lo que vos necesitas vos haces en tu trabajo que me confundí, pensé que, que de ahí sacamos de... algo general, bueno, obviamente encargado de, de resolver cualquier situación que nosotros no sepamos. Ok, ahorita Goa, técnica de
prevent and solve problems as well as optimize and improve the performance of your product or service. Daniela, what is the computer technical support? Computer technical support is a service that is responsible for giving the client support by different means to find a solution to the problem, whether physical or logical, of any type of electronic device. Okay. Ahorita. Ahí lo puse. ¿Qué es lo que realmente hacen los de mi soporte? La finalidad de una asistencia técnica es ayudar a los usuarios para que puedan resolver ciertos problemas. Ajá, en mi oficina siempre hay un encargado. Uh -huh. Y la finalidad es que le da mantenimiento a las computadoras, a la impresora, cuando se cae el sistema. Como trabajo en, en cobrar factura, entonces cuando el sistema se cae, ellos son los encargados en, uh -huh. en que vuelva ahí el asunto. No sé cómo decirlo. Okay. okay, in your office, uh, I support manager who helps to maintain the computer printed when the system crashes. They are in charge of solving science. It's necessary for day to day. Okay. All right. Did you find any good concept, any explanation you want to share? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Yes. Uh, in my office, the person who gives us technical support is a police. Mm -hmm. Because who knows a lot of, about the computers, mm -hmm. system, and printer machine. Okay. An expert in the area of the products and the software and hardware that you're using at the office. All right, great. And hard and hard hard drive hardware. Mm -hmm. Great. Somebody else. Um, mm -hmm. 
yes. for example, that supports attend networks emergencies or mm -hmm. common files in the office. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, usually when something fails, yeah, there should be an expert in technology or in the area, right? Where you need the support. Mm -hmm. Someone else? After the big discussion? <laughs> uh, yes, tell me. Okay, uh, mi concepto que tenía definido es a uh, technical, uh, technical support is an assistance provided by an entity with a technical ay, se me fue la palabra, knowledge. Knowledge. In an, yes, knowledge. Mm -hmm. In a specific, no, in an Ahí sí, no sé. In a specific area. Area. What area. does the teacher, what does mean knowledge? Conocimiento. Oh. They will say an expert, of course, has knowledge of how to okay. solve this issue or this problem. It can be related to technology or to a specific area. Mm -hmm. when you need the support when you need the help how to solve it can be a, an identity yeah an institution sometimes we say yeah we call for technical support for example if you have uh, the internet service and who is the supplier of the internet service it's a company right so if, if the internet service is failing so the company is in charge or should be responsible for giving you the technical support how to solve it right you can call you can make a call you can send an email even and they should be responsible for solving because they are the identity or they are the institution that is providing the service of the internet right so that's how it works definitely all right okay let's continue with uh the activities yes of course we present the manual presents like this make a phone call to report the problem call centers are definitely an identity okay so call centers have many companies but if you have the service from one of those companies you can make a phone call to report the problem. So they should be able to give you the technical support to solve the problem. Okay, so this is how the topic is presented. Make a phone call to report the problem. Do you ever call tech support? So when do you do it? Okay, and I was listening to some of your examples. I said when the system crashes, when the printers are not working okay so probably you are not calling for example if you bought a printer and let's say the brand is hp so you don't call hp directly <laughs> but you say okay i know an expert in this area so i call this person to help me because if you call hp over there in Korea or over there, wherever they are located, it's going to take forever. And I need a soon solution, right? So maybe sometimes we don't do that. What they do have this uh, uh, area or department of technical support or tech support. All right. Okay, Brendita is asking for permission because his signal is not good. So she should call some tech support. <laughs> okay, so she's a good example. All right. And this is how the manual presents, okay? How to make a conversation on the telephone, how to make a phone call and report a tech issue, right? So Peter calls and the person who answers over there is Robert he says good morning this is Peter oh no sorry the other way around so Peter is the one that is providing the tech support so good morning this is Peter from tech support how can I help you so this is a very common 
very common greeting for people providing, hold on one second. Yeah, for people providing tech support, you know, because they are um, customer service, you know, I, agent, they usually receive these phone calls and say, good morning, this is Peter from tech support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter, this is Robert. I'm calling from Human Resources Department. I'd like to report the problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see, let me ask you some questions. Of course, the support, sometimes it takes time, okay? It's not that, okay, I called tech support and they have an answer for my problem. Now, sometimes they ask questions, they give you instructions, they tell you to do this, this, and that, and that, and that. And sometimes, I mean, it's a long process, right? But sometimes probably you are already familiar with the problem and the problem can be easily solved. In this case, this is practically just the introduction of the conversation when you are reporting a problem, okay? So basically it's just call and tell the person that you have a problem. And of course, to be able to solve a problem, they have to ask you more questions to be more specific about the situation. All right. So, Peter, once again, good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I'm calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report the problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. Cuando usted le dice a alguien, es que mi computadora no sirve. You're not saying much, right? You're not being very specific. O no está funcionando. It doesn't seem to work means that. But you're not being very specific. You're not giving a, a real clue of the problem you are having. Probably it's not turning on. It's crashing. Uh, it keeps updating the... the antivirus is not working or i got in uh my computer is very slow so you have to be a little bit more specific with what is happening otherwise it, it doesn't seem to work it's too general right so let me ask you some questions that is for more information to see what it's really happening okay all right <laughs> all right Yes, and then this is just like the introduction or the beginning of the conversation. And one more thing, I like to report a problem. This is something that we consider like the general form to report or to mention that something is happening, okay? This is the contraction I would like, okay, to report a problem. I would like to report the problem. So I'd like the contraction I'd is I would. I would like to report the problem with my computer. All right, this conversation is very simple. So I'll give you one minute, try to read all the conversation. By the way, yesterday you did a great job sending the audience of the conversation. So you were practicing a lot. So that was really, really good. All right. So it's just the people and Robert is reporting a problem, right? With his computer. All right, let's see. We're going to be listening to uh-huh let's see two people let's see julio and daniel daniel adonai julius is peter and daniel is robert ready ready go me or yes. peter me is yes. peter uh okay good morning this is peter from tech support how can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. 
I am calling from the human resource department. I would like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask this long question. Okay, so you're just beginning the conversation, right? Because to investigate what the real problem is, you have to continue asking questions, especially because you are reporting the problem on the phone. It's totally different when the person comes and see exactly by himself or herself to what is happening, to what the problem is, of course. All right. Uh, it doesn't seem to work. It's like, parece que no está trabajando. Parece que no funciona. Yes? So that's what he is saying. So definitely he needs to explain more, uh, to be more specific about the situation. Okay? Is there any question related to vocabulary in this very short conversation? Tech, tech support. Aunque se escriba con T, CH, se dice tech, porque es lo mismo se escribe technology or technician or technical support. Yes? So it's the same. All right? And the contraction is I'd. I'd like to report the problem with, the, with my computer. ¿Alguna otra duda? ¿Any other doubts? No. Tell me. Clear. Clear as the water. Sir, teacher. Yes. No, de hecho, eh, era una cuestión, una pregunta que le iba a hacer al respecto, porque yeah. cuando... Uh, Antes decía, déjeme ver, de hacer una llamada telefónica. Entonces creí que la teníamos que hacer nosotros y había preparado algo. That's great. Uh, decía algo así como, algo así como, hi Alexander, how are you? I, uh, uh, y él me contestaba, hi Julio, I am okay. How about you? How about you? Eh, y yo decía, Alex, I need your help. My PC has turned off. And... I am trying to turn on, uh, turn on again. And it, ahí no sabía cómo decir y todavía no funciona, pero ya me lo respondió. Pues no está ahí en el diálogo. De, de hecho, that doesn't seem to work. Yeah, está, it seems. Eso podemos yeah. utilizar para decir que algo no funciona. It doesn't no seem not to work. Yes, it's, it's okay. not working. It doesn't work. Cualquiera de esas opciones. De hecho, a veces pensamos que el, obviamente work es trabajar, ¿sí? pero en el sentido de las máquinas es eso, it doesn't work. It's working, oh, ya, ya funciona, decimos. Or the connection, it's working, it's not working, yes. Sí, se utiliza así. <laughs> yes. Ok, actually, that's the idea. First, to practice and then to create a conversation, okay? <laughs> because first we have the model. See, the hecho aquí dice, make a phone call to report the problem, okay? Of course, you create a conversation, but you need first to practice. The idea is to have a model, como un modelo de conversación, como reportar un problema. So this is the example, okay? But in order to be more confident creating a conversation, I'm going to ask you, first, tienen que practicar esta, y luego hacer lo que usted ya había hecho, okay? So, you already work in advance, so you work before. That is great. So, you can have that conversation, and then discuss what is the issue with Robert's computer. Oh, issue, también es otra palabra para problem. Problem. Okay? Yes. So what is the issue with Robert's computer? And how does he report the problem? So how does he report the issue, right? So first, practice a conversation, como esta. But then create a similar conversation, yes? Got it? Got it. All right. I got it. Let's see. 
are we working to create new groups so that everybody has the opportunity? Let me see. Yes, here we go. All right, you are Peter or you are Robert? I'm Peter. Good okay. morning, this, this is Peter from Ted Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter, this is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report the problem with my computer. What is this, Robert? I doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Good. And Karen? Karen? Karen. Hola. Hola, hola. Yeah. <laughs> you practice with, with Ruth. Okay. Okay. Yes, I'm Peter. Del <laughs> yes. Okay. You are Peter and I am Robert. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. This is Peter Brown Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robin. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? I doesn't. I doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem. Tech support. Uh, how can I help you? Hi, Peter. Uh, this is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't. It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let let me ask. Let me ask you some questions. I didn't say my word. Yeah. Uh, perdón, perdón. Mm -hmm. Sí. Ya. Ahora ustedes dos. Yeah. Okay. Vamos, Daniel. Okay, Daniel. I am Peter. Uh, Tú eres Peter, yo soy Robert. Y en okay. la próxima que, que Tatiana sea Peter y tú serías Robert. Así nos okay. intercambiamos. Okay. ok. Good morning. Hello. This is a Peter from Teixeport. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some question. Chévere. Uh, yo mm -hmm. creo que nos vamos en automático. What y is no it? hemos visto mm -hmm. y no hemos visto algo. Ya uh -huh. se metió John en la conversación. Primero era Peter y Robert. Al final quien habla es, es John, ¿verdad? Ah, cabal. I see. Uh -huh. Let uh -huh. me ask you some question. Sí. Eso. <laughs> Está bien. Okay. Entonces le digo yo. Good morning. This is Evelyn from the technical support. How can I help you? Um. Next then. Hi. Hi. Uh, hi, Ruth. 
This is Daniel. I'm calling, calling from, uh, from, I don't know. Pero hay que hacerlo de nuevo. Oh, Roberto, qué bien. Bueno, Peter, eres tú. Yo soy Roberto. Yo, bye. Así hagámoslo bien. Bye. Yo, vamos a llegar a usted con... Yo le voy a decir la primera parte, usted me dice la segunda, de ahí cambiamos el, los párrafos. Y yo le voy a decir, oh, qué bien, me urgía, urgía, existe. Me urgía. <risa> oh, qué bien, necesitaba, necesitaba de su ayuda urgentemente. Urgentemente, urgentemente. Vale, voy a decir, oh, that's great, great, great. I mean, en, mi, en el párrafo que le voy a decir después de que usted me diga, how I can I help you? Mire, mire. O sea, en el de Roberto, en el primero de Roberto. En este Pon el primero es Peter, va. Yo. Sí, Roberto. Después va, va, usted va a copiar ese párrafo, solo que me va a cambiar. En vez de Peter, va a poner Daniela. Yes. Bye, así. Hi, this is Jorge, me va a decir. Jorge, exacto. Va, de allí voy yo otra vez. Y es allí donde le voy a decir, oh, qué bien, necesitaba de su ayuda urgentemente. Ah, ahí entonces le vamos a agregar eso. Ajá. Ay, espérame. Es que ahí es donde no te entendí. Ah, ok. Ay, mire. Your help. Ok, bien decir. Necesitaba. En. Yes. Oh, qué de bien necesita. De su ayuda urgentemente. Ok. ¿Qué me va a decir usted? ¿Dónde está el problema? Me va a decir. Ok, entonces aquí voy yo. Por... Aquí va usted. ¿Dónde está el problema, no? Sí, ok, where is the problem? Es más, sí. ¿Quién se ve la Daniela? Ya es bilingüe. <risa> Dios lo oiga, Dios lo oiga. <risa> ¿Dónde está el problema? ¿Qué dices tú ahora? Vaya, mi software no sirve, le voy a decir. <risa> ah, espérame. No, es eh, mi, tu software. Hombre, otra cosa más específica. ¿Ah? No, Así dice la conversación, no me fija. ¿Estás segura que tú eso vas a poner? Mi software no sirve. Ajá. No funciona. Ajá. Doesn't work. No sirve. Sirve. Word también es para no sirve. Sirve. Word sirve. En lugar de no sirve, mejor sería no, fun no funciona bien. Ajá, sí. no funcionaba. Para que se o oh, no está, oh, está fallando. Mi software está fallando mejor. Mi software está fallando. My software is... Is failing. failing. Is crashing. Is, ¿Cómo le da? Is crashing. Is failing. Me pone aquí. Quiero ver. Está fallando, pone. Mi software está fallando. Crashing. My software is failing. Crashing, me da a mí. Así te da. It's crashing. No, no, no. <risa> es tuyo, no sirve entonces. Ay. Sería la próxima. Um, hay. I don't write. Mm -hmm. I don't write and I stay 
in Boulevard Constitución. Constitución. Bye. You have a new ambulance? Do you do you need a ambulance? Do you need a ambulance? Do you need a ambulance? Do you need ambulance? Vaya, quedaría algo así. Tell me, tell me. Ay, quiero ver. Good morning, this is Ruth from the this is Suiza. How can I help you? I wrote, this is Daniel. I come from the Antes Group. I'd like to report crash with all the cars. Are you all right? And where are you? No, I don't write. You stay in Boulevard Constitution. Do you need ambulance? Yeah. Ruth? Yes. Y la otra respuesta sería, yes. I need right now. Yes? It's a six, me parece. Good. Good. Ya la hicimos. ¿Verdad? <laughs> <laughs> me parece así. A mí me Sorry, da let no. me check. Ya ve. Ah, pero es que no me puede enviar captura. Let me, I check. Te lo voy a copiar. Te lo voy a enviar al chat. Sí, está algo raro. Ya. Yeah. Así me sale a mí, ve. Ya vio. Listo, voy a ver. Let me, I shake it out. No sabes que no es nada que ver con el mío. Ajá. Bueno, sí, dejémoslo el punto que se entiende. Sí. Vaya, con gusto le voy a decir yo. Con gusto, coma. No, por, por favor. No. Me avisa Ay, favor, no. cuando esté lista, Lucy. Espérame. Daniela. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Con gusto. Daniel, ok. Me avisa cuando esté lista. Please let me. ¿Solo dijiste por favor o qué más? Con gusto. Coma. Me avisa cuando ah, esté lista. Please let me know. When. Hi Daniel, how are you? Hi Tatiana, I am okay. How are you? Daniel, I need your help. My PC is infected with virus and it doesn't work properly. Tatiana, give a few minutes. Ahí falta el mi, get me. Thank you. Hola. Ahí falta el mi, get me. 
Tatiana. Ah, cierto. Give Tatiana, me a few minutes. Tatiana, give me. Cierto, correcto. Thank you, Tatiana. Siempre te como. Always. ¿A M -E. dónde? ¿A dónde? Ahí, ahí, correcto. M E. Okay. Ahí, correcto. Tatiana, give me a few minutes. Give me a few minutes to resolve this problem. Thank you, Daniel. I be with you. Es una idea, no sé, podemos cambiarle, agregarle. A mí me parece bien, solo falta usted, porque no parece usted en la conversación. Sí, correcto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. um, ¿Y Yuli? ¿Se va a unir, Yuli? Oh, no, creo que Yuli está de... Oye. Bye, ¿eh? ¿Sí? Y si se da una descripción, la prima que hizo para pagar, tienen que se la descuentan Bien. el monto final. Bueno. No, si es que también las aseguradoras al final no van a perder. Obviamente que no. <ríe> no habría negocio. No sería, ne por eso le digo, a veces una coma hace la diferencia entre si le pago o no le pago. Sí. No, porque hay que estar con cuidado. <ríe> Practicamos la que hicimos. Yes, démosle. Good morning. This is Ruth from the, the as a Swiss. How can I help you? Hi, Ruth. This is Daniel. I'm calling from the Mantage Group. I'd like to report a crash with other car. Are you all right? And where are you? I don't ride. And I stay in Boulevard Constitution. Do you need a, the ambulance? Yes, I need right now. Okay, don't worry. In In this moment, I send an ambulance. Be, be patient. You call the police. You call the police. All right. Thanks a lot. Yes, I do call the police. Okay. That's right. Hablamos más tarde. <laughs> good, good, good. Ahí, ahí solo hace falta decirle que uno de nuestros técnicos llegará en 30 minutos. Esa sería la última parte. Pero, pero sería de agregar lo mejor en esta misma parte. Por eso, después de que usted me contesta que ya llamó a la policía, entonces yo tendría que decirle, uno de nuestros técnicos llegará en 30 minutos. Vale. Oh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo le pondríamos? Sería... Eh, Sería uno de uno. Sería. Uh, one of the our Uh, the our technicals arrive in 30 minutes. I see. Our personal uh, of head support arrive in. Sí, así es. Y ahí quedaría. Y ahí quedaría. Ahí uh, solo hay que esperar a que venga el muchacho. Good. Y esa me la puede mandar a WhatsApp para cuando nos por si claro. no se palea. Ahorita oh. se la comparto. Y Karen. 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 Ya aquí los estoy observando. ¿Hay alguien, hay alguien más? No. Es la misma. Ah, ok. Ajá. Eso. Eso, Dani. Ya lo copié, ya lo Good. copié, ya lo recibí. 
Vaya, vale, ahora sí. ¿Ah? Lo vamos a dejar hasta ahí. ¿O va a aumentar algo más? No. Vaya, practiquemos entonces. Ay, tran, 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 tran. Tranqui, tranqui. Tranqui, que no panda el cúnico. Bueno. Dale otra vez. Vale. Good morning. This is, this is, this is Jorge from Tech Support. Thank How you, can support. I help? I, huh? uh -huh. How can I help you? Uh -huh. um, hi, uh, hi, Daniel. It's me. They call it, call it, call it. Call it me from mm -hmm. the support department because they have support reported a problem. Okay. Oh, that's great. I needed your help urgently. Urgently. And where is the, pro the problem? My software is crashing. Allow me. I am going to review it. Um, please let me know when it's ready. Okay, Daniela. Okay, do it. Okay, Daniela. <laughs> Perdón. Okay, otra vez. Otra vez. Fíjate que aunque no lo creas, estoy dando soporte ahorita. <risa> ¿Con quién? Es que una amiga me está pidiendo. Tengo que le ayude a configurar algo. <risa> Quiero ver. ¿Le damos otra vez? Ajá. Good morning. This is Jorge from Tech Support. How can I help you? Um, hi, Daniela. It's me. They call it me from the support department because they have reported a problem. A problem. Reported. No, no. Reported a problem. Okay. Oh, that's great. I needed your help urgently. What is the problem? My software is crashing. Allow me. I am going to review it. All right, are you ready for the conversation? I saw you were preparing very interesting and creative conversations. Yes. Of course. <laughs> nice. Okay, we're just waiting for the others to return from their breakout rooms so that everybody can listen to everyone's presentations. All right. Everybody seems to be ready. Let's see. All right. Oh, there's one thing you can do. De hecho, si trabajaron la, uh, la conversación en algún documento, igual pueden compartir pantalla para que los demás puedan ver su script. Es como que ustedes están haciendo la movie, but they see the script, ¿ok? 
All right. <laughs> Me dicen quién va a compartir pantalla. All right. Here we go. The first group was Daniel, Adonai, Karen, and Ruth. Who are the actors and actresses and who is presenting the script? <laughs> Good. Ruth, you begin. Ruth's microphone. My... Good morning. This is Ruth from Ace Suiza. How can I help you? Hi, Ruth. This is Daniel. I'm calling from the Mantage Group. I'd like to report a crash with other car. Are you all right? And where are you? I don't ride and I stay in Boulevard Constitución. Do you need the ambulance? Yes, I need right now. Okay, don't worry. In this moment, send an ambulance. Be patient. Do you call the police? All right, thanks a lot. Yes, I do call the police. Okay, the personal, our personal of the support arrived in 30 minutes. Be patient. Yeah, don't die. <laughs> okay, great. The second group was Daniel Alejandra, Juliana, Julius, and Tatiana, who are the main actors and actresses and who's presenting in the script. Uh-huh. Do you need any tech support? <laughs> hola, hola. Hello. Okay. Um, ¿Alguien más? I see Daniel has no problem sharing his screen. He's very... Daniel iba, tenía la pantalla, creo uh -huh. que la iba a compartir. Daniel? Exactly. He's very good at computers. <laughs> Entonces lo hago con Juliana, Julio. Perfect, perfect. Lo con Daniel. Ahí, listos. Demo. Hi, Juliana. How are you? Hi, Tatiana. I, I am okay. How about you? I need your help. My PC is infected with viruses and it doesn't work properly. Give me a few minutes to resolve this problem. Thank you, Juliana. I will be waiting you, waiting you. Finish. <laughs> Excellent, I'll be waiting. Yes, you is not necessary, just I'll be waiting. I'll be. Yes, en caso de que usted estuviera esperando a una persona, is I'll be waiting for you. But it's like, espero en, en tal café. But in this case, I'll be waiting for the help, right? I will, I'll be waiting for the support. So I'll be waiting. It's enough. All right. The third group was Brenda, Daniela, Jonas, George. I think it was Daniela and George who were working on the conversation because the the other two were having some issues, I think. All right. Okay. Listo, Jorge. <laughs> Are you ready, George? <laughs> <laughs> and George is a real tech support. <laughs> Yes or no? Oh? <laughs> George seems to have problems with the internet. All right. Okay. Good morning. This is Jorge from Tech Support. What can I help you? No, just very little. Me confío si me escuchan que tengo problemas con el internet. Yes, if you want you can turn off the camera para que le suene mejor el audio. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Ok. Ok, voy a empezar otra vez. Start again. You can say this is Daniela from Tech Support. Instead of this is Jorge, because Jorge is the other person. Okay, good morning. Hi, Jorge. Hi. Mm -hmm. This is Jorge from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Daniela. It's me. They call it my, me in front of the support department. Because they have reported a problem. Oh, that's great. I needed your help urgently. What is the problem? My software is crashing. Allow me. I am going to review it. Please let me know when it's ready. Okay, then. Yes. Okay, done. Perfect. Questions or doubts? Let me know. <laughs> no questions, no doubts? Okay, perfect. You did a great job. What about the discussion? What is the issue with Robert's computer? Did you discuss these two questions with your partner? Uh -huh. Did you do it? Or you don't remember anymore? You remember your issues now. Okay. Hello. Can you hear me? It's all right. <laughs> no problem. I thought I was having internet problems. <laughs> I was scared. Okay, did you discuss these pair word questions? Get in pairs and discuss. When you practice a conversation, did you discuss these two questions? Yes. Sí, eh, creo que no nos enfocamos en, en esas questions. No, nos but it's okay. Por... Yeah, it's okay. No problem. Okay. Now you can check. Check in the conversation and discuss these questions. Of course, you can say, oh, yes. What is the issue with Robert's computer? And how does he report the problem? Just okay. try to analyze the questions and try to give an answer. That's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, a través. Ana María. On. She doesn't oh. seem to work. Okay, the computer doesn't seem to work. That's the issue. That's the problem. The computer is not working. Right? That is the answer to the first question. The issue with Robert's computer is that the computer is not working. It doesn't seem to work, right? Mm -hmm. What about the second question? How does he report the problem? Um, the human research department. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Teacher, how do you say a través? Through. Through. Okay. Through uh, phone, uh, call phone. Uh, phone through call. a phone call. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He reports the problem through a phone call. Okay. So he reports the problem on a phone call. On a phone call. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Through the phone, <laughs> right? 
Yes, that's all right. Okay. Yes, I know. You were working hard. This exercise says check which problem. I think it's better if I point it out. Check which problems are the most common reasons to call. What are the most common reasons? What no internet it? access. No internet Paper. access. Paper is stuck in printer. Okay, paper is stuck in printer. Todavía la gente llama calls at a technical support si se le, se le, se le atasca la impresora. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> USB, uh, USB ports out yeah. of order. order. Yes, when the USB ports are not working, right? But they sí, don't respond. Frozen screen. Frozen screen. Todavía pasa, it still happens. Deleted files. Deleted files. Ah! Yes. <laughs> no. Present. <laughs> es que me pasa cuando no sincroniza algo que estoy haciendo online con la, con la app sometimes. So I'm like, why, why? I was working this on the, on the cloud and now I cannot see it. Mm -hmm. Viruses? Funny noise and the CPU. Funny noises, yes, of the CPU. Okay, so this is why you are going to talk to your partner. Check which problems are the most common reasons to call tech support. Bye. Lo vamos a hacer un poquito más interactive. Estos son examples, como las razones por las que se cree que el people call tech support. Pero ustedes van a tomar en cuenta estas options o estas ideas. Pero lo que quiero que cuenten es a sus partners las razones por las que ustedes se han visto en la necesidad de llamar a alguien que les venga a ayudar, que les venga a dar tech support. Yes? No necesariamente estas. For example, <ríe> cuando empezaba esto de online clases. We have a lot of problems with technology. <laughs> que no encontrábamos el link, que nos metíamos en otra sesión. A lot of things that we didn't know how to use the, the app, that we had so many issues. I know. At the beginning, in 2020, it was really, really difficult. Porque no teníamos como el knowledge. No teníamos the custom yes we didn't have the information so we were like really stuck <laughs> okay so this type of experience i want you to tell your partners okay piensa en la primero think about it piensa en cuál experience asking for tech support you have lived Recuerden como la más emblemática, you know, like that occasion in which you were calling for support because you have this problem with this app, with this uh, computer, with this software, with anything, yes? Or maybe it was simple, but since you didn't have the knowledge, for you it was a big problem, it was a big issue, okay? So... Think about it. Cuando ya lo tengan, when you're ready, we can describe the situation, what happened, okay? We can tell our partners what happened. Or maybe something that still happens that is very repeated, that happens all the time in my office, in my work, right? For look for the ideas how to describe the problem that you usually have regarding technology in this case. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Yo ya tengo una, teacher. Got it. <laughs> I got it. Okay, very good. I, I call in tech support for installing my new computer. ¿Qué es lo que le decía ella? <laughs> <laughs> And of course, you need yes, yeah, somebody to support you, to help you, okay? To install the software, to start running the computer, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, anybody else? Hi, teacher. Hey. Um, the most common reason to call tech support is maybe develop software of computer and the server frozen and doesn't answer and provide a tech training about use the programs or or software, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. call the tech <laughs> That's the most common problem, the, the most common issue you call tech support. Yes, of course, we're not, I mean, tech expert, right? So we need support with this type of actions, definitely, all right? Someone else? Hi. Yes. I need uh, tech support when I prepare a meeting in a, in the Zoom because I don't know with uh, send the invitation via Zoom. All right. So you need some support and that's okay. Yes. Yeah, that's okay because we don't have this skill of working, right, with the platform. Okay. I mean, Zoom definitely it's a, it's a video conference platform and we need to send the invitation we need to get the link in case you have to share the link and all that right okay nice someone else yeah Yo una llama, llamada, pero por algo casi legal. Mm -hmm. okay i call technical support when the windows license is expired <laughs> We all do that. <laughs> we all do that. <laughs> yes, we need to install software. We need to install. <laughs> yes, actually, last time I I asked for support to my colleagues. It was because I needed to install a a disco duro <laughs> because they they say they need to install a disco solido so the computer can run because faster uh -huh. yeah. so of course you know i don't know how to do that and my colleagues help me yeah, and then i know i know but i don't know how to open the computer i'm scared because i'm gonna break it <laughs> yes all right okay Someone else? We have George, we have Daniela, we have Karen. Okay, diré lo que más o menos entendí. <laughs> <laughs> My computer was running, so I told a technician to fix it for me. And unfortunately, if lay me worse. Really? Your computer was very slow. Yes. And then it was worse. Mm -hmm. mm, sorry, maybe the technician didn't know how to fix it. Mm -hmm. And he didn't tell you. Mm -hmm. Now that uh, everybody has a laptop, you know, children don't really take care of the laptops. They put it on the sofa, the computer fell to the ground. Uh, there are so many broken screens from these laptops. <laughs> and then, uh, I mean, they, yeah, they need a lot of tech support because they can ruin the computers because they use the computer for everything. But the idea of getting this laptop was for studies, of course, right? And now some of them just say, 
no me la cambien en el minero. Of course, they won't change the computer because they ruined the computer. They damaged the computer. So, uh, <laughs> I feel so, so bad because in the past, we needed a computer and we didn't even have access. And now that they have laptops or tablets, they don't take care. And of course, you need to take care of technology, right? So I have seen some of these cases, but maybe some people are not able to fix it or it's completely damaged. It's completely broken, but they need to replace the screen. And of course, parts of computer are not cheap. And that was not part of the guarantee. But I, I see a lot of teenagers, a lot of kids are very careless with computers. All right. I think the other participant will share their problems later. Teacher. Yes. <clears throat> about this, uh, mm -hmm. my little cousin in his uh, laptop, uh, government laptops, has installed a free fire. Imagine. Eso es yeah. lo mínimo que les puede pasar a la computer. <laughs> <laughs> o sea, lacto, I know. Terrible. I know. Lo mínimo que les puede pasar a esas computadoras es que le hayan instalado games. De allí uh -huh. a cosas mucho más grandes. I have this um, student. Is he is new this year? He is in first year. We just met him. Uh, I asked him, "What happened to your computer?" Porque I, I asked everybody, do you have a computer? Do you have a laptop that you received from the government? And everybody said, yeah, yeah. And I asked him, what happened to your computer? Y me dijo que la había puesto en el sofá y se le había caído, obviamente, con la screen hacia abajo y se le quebró. Obvio que la llevó a la... Y le van a decir, no, si usted la ha arruinado, ¿cómo le vamos a dar otra? It was nonsense. O sea, con sentido común que si se le cae se le va a dañar y que no es para eso la computer no se la dieron para eso and I saw the experience los chicos last year and the year before tan pronto les dieron esas computers les servían pero como no tenía because before that nobody had a computer they had to go to the computer lab they had to go to an internet cafe and no la tenían con ellos todo el tiempo. So, cuando se la dieron, ellos sintieron like, aleluya, oh, porque le servía tanto para tantas cosas. To apply to different scholarship programs, to apply to university, to complete all the assignments. Y este chico que se la dieron y no la cuidó. No, no, like, what? What happened? And now he says that it's his mom's responsibility. And it's not like that, but it's, terrible. yeah, it's terrible. Como decían los abuelitos, no le cuesta, lo hace fiesta. And I'm like, but somebody pay for that. We pay for that with our taxes. So I was like really disappointed with that case. In no es el único, ¿verdad? There are so many, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. ¿Cómo reportamos un problem? Ways to report a problem. Esta es como la estructura más, digamos, más estándar, más genérica que podemos reportar un problem. I would like to report a problem. I would like to report an issue I have a trouble with. Como tres frases como muy, muy conocidas, muy favorables para reportar un issue. ¿Ok? So, si usted llama a tech report, a tech support, sorry, and you say, I would like to report a problem. Yes, es como la forma de introducir o de empezar a describir el issue que tiene. I would like to report an issue. Y les decía problem, es sinónimo de issue. Or I have a trouble with. Tengo un problema con. Las tres palabras significan lo mismo. Y los common issues. Para reportar pueden ser, it doesn't seem to work. El sim lo ponemos como para suavizar. 
que realmente no, no, no quiero sonar tan radical, que no sirve, no sirve, veo. It doesn't seem to work. Se parece que no está funcionando. It makes a strange or a funny noise or a funny sound, puede ser. Pueden sustituir la palabra noise for sound. It makes a strange or a funny noise. Hace un sonido raro, extraño. And it does not turn on. Es otra muy común que no, no enciende. It doesn't turn on. Yes. So this would be the ways to report a problem. Eso lo tienen en su manual. I'm just pointing it out for you to take a look at it, right? And then you have an exercise. What are the most, what are the common issues you have in your workplace? Yo creo que ya lo hemos descrito, ya estuvimos hablando de esto. Write down the most common problems you have with the equipment in your office. Write the problems you and your class may have in common in the middle section. Va, es el cuadro en el que usted va a poner los suyos. Acá, los de su compañero. Uh -huh. Let me see. Acá, en el, en el siguiente cuadro. Y los que tienen en común en medio. Ok. Es como nada más para compartir. Yes, to share the problems. Y para que los tengan por escrito. Ok. So I'm going to give you. Five minutes, enough, like the most, para que compartan esos problems. Let's see. Try to use the vocabulary in English, of course. Hey Daniel, the equipment. Equipment. Uh, equipment. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, lo que pasa que eh, siempre lo pensé diferente la pronunciación. Está chico, está chévere. Okay, tenemos a a George y y a Karen. Okay, entonces son tres espacios. Uh, ¿Cómo cuántas son? Unos cinco. Ay, perdón, está. Flat. Flat es desinflado. Se llama. Bueno, ok, listo. The tire is flat, quiere decir que está desinflado. Exacto. Ah, ok.
activity. Ajá, los problemas que, comunes que tienes en la oficina, dice. Con tu trabajo. <risa> Eso sí. Yo, I, I have a three problems in my office. Okay. ¿Ya anotó los míos? Sí. ¿Usted tiene el manual para que me comparta los, los suyos? Eh, sí. O ahí sí. en el chat lo puede escribir, no sé. Sí. ¿Lo está anotando en papel? En el chat se lo voy a poner. Ah, vaya. Porque la... Ah, no, aquí, porque es que el, el teléfono me los traduce al español. Ah, ok. No me, no me da chance. No problem. Ay, ¿qué dice? ¿Qué dice? ¿Qué dice? Ay, ¿A dónde me fui? La me fui, no sé. Él sí, cállate. Finish. Finish. <laughs> the most common problems or issues we have. Uh huh. Did you share? The most common issues. <laughs> Viruses. 
<laughs> the internet is not working. <laughs> the compute, no, the printer is a stock. Or a bad connection with uh -huh. printer. Bad connection. Or the slow computers. Because everybody is connected. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Anybody else? Any other issue you want to report from your workplaces? Internet problems. <laughs> okay. No more issues? Yeah. Uh -huh. Hello. Hello. Okay. When I call this, uh, when I call this support, uh, I have three, mm -hmm. and when my PC is, tur is turning slow, mm -hmm. uh, when the PC is infected for virus, in, mm -hmm. and when my PC uh, loses connection to the printer. Right, yes, the most common issues are those, right? It's low computers, no connection with the printers, or being infected with viruses. That's right. I guess we kind of share the most common ones, right? Okay. Attendance. The last time. Attendance and a root. We don't know. Brenda, se nos fue. Okay. <laughs> ah, here you are. Okay. Josh, no, here. Yes, I know he has problems with the internet. Daniel Adonai. Present. Daniel Alejandro. Present. Ya fue a trabajar, Daniel. Yes. Ya no problems with your leg. Yes. Todavía. No lo regresaron a su house. No. Yeah, you can walk. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow you come back. Yes, yes. Pero ya está bien de su pierna. Sí, ya un poco mejor. You eh, can walk. Yo lo que la gripe. Hoy ahí amanecí con gripe. <risa> Me llevar la peste. No es una cosa es otra. <risa> la idea es quedarse en casa. <risa> Dígale que va a ser home office. <risa> Impossible, but <laughs> Daniel, I'm sorry. So let out Chascarillo. Don't worry. Daniela. Present. Daisy. I'm here. Ah, oh, Daisy Tatiana, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dolores. <laughs> Juliana. Kaylin. Presenta, teacher. Jonas. Present. Hey. George. Se no fue, George. Mr. Julio. I'm here. Karen. Present. Okay. Lady. Lady no se conectó, ¿verdad? And Miss Evelyn. Present. Hello. ¿Algún volunteer? George. <laughs> sí, George ya no está. George is gone. Se fue George. <laughs> George is long gone. Okay, don't worry. See you tomorrow. Good night. God bless you. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, people. Good night. Bye. Bye bye.